Good morning and welcome to Hope for the Family with the Evangelist. I am Tony Even God is good all the time. We bless God for keeping us alive to see this day which has made me rejoice and be glad in it. The chance of victory and rejoicing are ahead all the time in the tent of the righteous. This morning we bless God for making us righteous, not through our own effort, but that He gave us grace through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. From the book of John, chapter 1, we read that grace and truth came through Jesus Christ and the law came through Moses. No one was able to obey the law. God saw us struggling. And because of the love of God for us, he sent his son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to die for us. We have the living word of God that has given us salvation. We thank God that we are his children. As many that believe in Jesus Christ and receive the gospel of salvation became the children of God. God has given us the command to take this message out to the nations, to be disciples of men, to bring men into his kingdom. Hallelujah. Amen. Each day we are alive, we have to deny ourselves, carry our cross, and follow Jesus Christ. We have to examine the life of Jesus Christ and be obedient to the will of God the Father as Jesus Christ was when he was here in this world. And because he obeyed God, God highly exalted him and gave him a name that is above every other name. That the name of Jesus and the mention of the name of Jesus, every name was found and every tongue confessed that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. We bless God for giving us salvation in Jesus Christ. For giving us power to become the student in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For giving us the grace to do everything for Him. Because Jesus Christ gives us, gives us strength, he is our joy. Amen. We will rejoice in Him. We will receive strength to do the will of God. We will not allow anyone to kill our joy, to steal that joy that God has given to us. Let us continue to walk in the abundance of God's will for, for our lives. Amen. And use the grace that God has made available for us to continue to spread the gospel, to tell people the truth, that truth, that grace and truth came to the world through Jesus Christ, and that God has given us eternal life in Him. Hallelujah. Amen. As believers, we have to preach to Jesus Christ. Reveal God to the world through Him. Amen. He was revealed to us so that we would know the Son of God and we would know, receive the love of God through Him. Amen. Everyone that receives Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior has received God as a Father. Amen. God is our Father. Let us rejoice in the God of our salvation for everything God has done for us. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. At this time, we are going to pray. We are going to thank God for this morning. It's a beautiful day the Lord has given to us. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Our Father in heaven, we magnify thy name as we bow down before thee. Our Father in heaven, we magnify thy name as we bow them before thee, our Father. Our Father in heaven, we magnify thy name as we bow them before thee. Our Father in heaven, we magnify thy name as we pardon before thee. Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, Amen. Hallowed be thy name. Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, Amen. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name, hallowed be thy name, hallowed be thy name, hallowed be thy name. Our Father 
who art in heaven, Amen. Hallowed be thy name, our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, Amen. Hallowed be thy name, 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 amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Father, we bless you. We thank you, you are our God. We thank you, Lord God, for the living world that has given us eternal life. We thank you for our salvation, God. We thank you for our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for your Holy Spirit, O Lord God, that works in us and through us to accomplish your will in this world. We thank you, Lord this day, Father Lord, because we know you have set tables before us in the presence of our enemies. We bless you for anointing our heads with joy. We thank you, Lord God, for all the good things you have done for us. We bless you for your goodness and mercy that follow us through life. Father, we say thank you in the name of Jesus. We know, Father Lord, that even though we pass through the valley of the shadow of death today, that you'll be right there with us. Your rod and your staff will protect us. We are not afraid of what the evil one will do against us because we have you. Father, as many that gather against us, O Lord God, they will be entrapped, O Lord God, by their own snare in the name of Jesus. They will fall into the pit they are dug for our feet in the name of Jesus. Father, confront them, O Lord God, and lift up your hands against your children. Father, you are our God. We bless you, Father Lord. We abide in your presence, O Lord God. We find rest in you. Father, we bless you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for being our God. Thank you for everything you have done for us. We say for the praise today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Our Lord God Almighty, as we are coming before you, we acknowledge that you are God and God alone. In the assemblies of the gods, you are wanted to be praised. Our Father, we say thank you in the name of Jesus. Our Lord God Almighty, we know that we have sinned against you. We pray the blood of Jesus, we ask for mercy. As you have forgiven us of all our sins, Father, we pray that you help us to forgive as many that have sinned against us in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we thank you. We pray that nothing will separate us from Lord God from your presence. We want to enjoy fellowship with you with the Son and with the Holy Spirit. Today we lay down bitterness, malice, hatred, or forgiveness. Every evil thought and deeds that are contrary to your will, O Lord God, at the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ. We will receive deliverance for ourselves and for our families in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. You are called over the nations. Today we join the heavens to declare your glory and the families to show your for your praise in languages and tongues that men understand. Father, your praise has come out to the ends of the world. You are God, you are God, you are God. There's no God in still. Father, we bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Father, we invite you, Holy Spirit, to come and switch out the living God. Pray for us, echo us this day, encourage us, empower us, give us the spirit of boldness to testify about the goodness of God to the world, to tell men what God has done for us, that there is no way through which men can come to God except through Jesus Christ. Spirit of the living God, we pray this day that any snare of the enemy that stands against the kingdom of God, that is that we pull it down in the name of Jesus. Spirit of the living God, God, we pray that you give us a word that will bring healing to the children of God today, a word that will encourage us that are discouraged, a word that you bring comfort and consolation to those that are mourning today, those that are passing through difficult situations, receive deliverance today in the name of Jesus. We pray for those that do not have food, that are wondering where their next meal come from. We pray to the Father of God that your children will set tables for, for our brothers and sisters here that, that are needed in the name of Jesus. Father, in whatever ways, Father Lord, we are struggling today, we pray that this world will meet us at our point of needs in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. We know that we have power in thee. We have power in Jesus Christ to do all things. We do not doubt you. We receive that power and we give it out to Lord God to as many 
that will believe in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of God, that the Spirit of God will enter in them and they will receive power to become your children. Father, at this time we remember missionaries, Son of God, evangelists, people that have gone out of God to spread this gospel. Father, Lord, wherever they are today, we lift them up to you in the name of Jesus. Perhaps there are some, Lord God, in country, Son of God, that are being held in chains, Son of God, by the captors. Father, we pray for deliverance in the name of Jesus. We pray for encouragement in the name of Jesus. We pray for the spirit of boldness to descend upon them in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, that even where they are, they will continue to testify as Paul and Silas did. Oh God Almighty, we pray. That they will begin to sing praises to you in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that they are captured so that God will see your power in the name of Jesus. And they will repent of their sins in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We pray that this day, this one will be a light of God to the nations in the name of Jesus. That people will see their sins the way they are and they will repent of their sins in the name of Jesus. You have given us a Savior in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We pray, oh Lord God, that this one will go out with power in the name of Jesus. Jesus, that signs and miracles deeds we are coming to work in the name of Jesus, that more souls will be brought into your kingdom in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, that your children will be attentive to what the Spirit is saying at this time in the name of Jesus, that all of us will have to go out to preach His gospel in the name of Jesus, that that's the reason for which we are, we are created in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, oh God Almighty, that your power, fresh and mighty, will descend upon your children today in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. You are our God. We are such a name. We thank you, God. We bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good all the time. If God has been good to you, testify about the goodness of God to the people around you. If you are tested and seen the goodness of God, you have to go out and proclaim from one generation to the other. People will hear about the goodness of our God. We cannot keep it to ourselves. Amen. God wants the entire world to know that He has given us salvation in Jesus Christ. That He sent His Son to die for us while we are sinners. Amen. That's why we celebrate Christmas for what God has given to us. We know that it wasn't through our own effort that we became righteous with God, but God Himself showed us mercy. We are so far from God our sins separated us from God, separated us from our God. We could not enjoy fellowship with Him. God created us to enjoy fellowship with Him. When you read about the creation story, God will come down to the Garden of Eden to enjoy fellowship with Adam and Eve until they sinned and they were separated from the presence of God. Actually, when God was coming and calling out to them in the Garden, they hid themselves because they knew that they had done something against God. Amen. And this same God of mercy, this same God of love, this same God of compassion that created us for his own purpose, sent his son to bring us back to him, to reconcile us back to him. That's the God we have. We have to bless him, we have to thank him and praise him. Amen. That's why we were created to enjoy the fellowship with God, to enjoy the goodness of God in this world. God has given us everything. Amen. In our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, let us go out to continue to testify about the goodness of God to everybody. Do not say that you are slow of words. Do not say that you are afraid of the crowd, that you don't know what to say. At the appropriate time, the Spirit of God is going to give you an utterance for the children of God. A word that may empower, a word that will open the eyes of people to know what God has done for them. That will make them to see themselves as sinners. That they will open themselves before God to ask for forgiveness. A word that will bring healing to those that are sick. God has given us treasures. We have power, the power of God in us, to lift up the damn trouble. We have to start using that power for that power to have effect. Amen. If we do not use it, it will just waste. It cannot produce any good results for us. That's why the fact that God has given it to us. Let us go in faith to begin to do the things that God has called us to do in this world. Amen. Let's do it and trust God and see God working through us to accomplish His will in the lives of our brothers and sisters, in our lives, amen, in our nations, in, in the body of Christ, within our congregations, wherever we are gathered. Let us see the power of God at work in our lives, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. When we come together, those who have a song, come with your song. Those who can pray, prayer warriors, come and pray. Those who can encourage, be the child of encouragement, Come to encourage. There are people who are discouraged and need that we need to lift up. Amen. The children of God. We need to lift them from the heaven body of the enemy that is trying to deceive them. We have to remind them of what God has given to us. We need to remind ourselves every day to rekindle hope, to keep hope alive. 
Is that hope that gives us the motivation to continue to do the will of God in this world? As the Apostle Paul said, that he was pressed from all over. Pressed hard. But he did not give up. He almost gave up. Gave up. But he did not because he had the power of God in him. That everything he did was through the power of God. But yet, despite everything, he left those things that were behind him and he pressed on to the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. That's what we have to do. We have to press on. We have to make up our mind that our situations will not overburden us in such a way that we cannot even live our lives, the life that God has given to us. God wants us to enjoy the life we have. When you know you do not have control over the circumstances you find yourself in, give it to God and enjoy the life that God has given to you. Move on. Move on. Make up your mind that you live the life that God has given to you to the fullest. That you enjoy the world, this life that God has given to you. That you'll be a good ambassador of God. One that cares about the people around you. One that tries to go, do good deeds. Do not partake in evil. If you examine yourself at the end of each day and you find out that you have done things that are contrary to the will of God, that you have partaken in, in, in any evil deeds, then that, humble yourself before God, need them, cry out and ask for mercy. Ask God to forgive you and pray that the Spirit of God will help you to live aright according to the will of God. That's the good thing of being alive each day. The steadfast love of our God never ceases. His mercies will never come to an end. They are renewed every day. Every morning rejoice. Start the day off with God. Thank God for the day. Bless him. Make up your mind that you will enjoy the day. Make up your mind that you will do good things. Make up your mind that you will be attentive to the voice of the Spirit leading you through life in the name of Jesus. At the end of the day, thank God for everything He has done in you and through you. Amen. Our God is faithful. We'll be giving our lives if we help us. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Be encouraged to stay. For our brothers and sisters in the hospital, we bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We want to encourage you that even in your situation, know that God is right there with you. That that sickness, whatever it is, that is casting a heavy burden on you today, that that thing will not have the last say. That you are a child of God. That everything concerning your life will be according to the will of God. Continue to look up to the heavens. Amen. God is going to help you. Whatever comes out of your situation will be according to the will of God. Rejoice. Find peace within you. That's what God has given to you. Find the peace of God that even in this situation, Father, I will bless you. Father, I will thank you because you are more than evil. My days are in your hands. You know everything concerning my life. I give everything to you. I will not surrender my way to men, to any force of darkness. I don't want to think any negative thoughts, thoughts about myself. I want to be positive about what you can do in my life. That even in this situation, Father, you are right here with me. You are my God and I bless you. I exalt your holy name. I give it all to you in the name of Jesus. Anyone passing through a difficult time today, lift up your hands and say, Father, thank you. I can see the storm right before me. But with you, I overcome in the name of Jesus. This storm will not be up forever. With you, I overcome in the name of Jesus. There is an, 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 uh, the other side and I'm going over there with you. I come against the forces of darkness that are trying to hold back my fortunes, trying to hold back the blessings that you have released to, to me and my family. I come against them this day in the name of Jesus. I shall see the goodness of God in the land of the living. I move on according to the will of God. I'm not going to remain in one place. My God has a good plan for me. A good plan for me. Many may be in the plans of men, but the counsel of God prevails. Father, your counsel will prevail in my situation. Your counsel will prevail in my life, in the life of my children, in the life of my nation. In the name of Jesus, I surrender everything to you. On my job, your counsel will prevail. In the name of Jesus. It's not what the enemy has said, but what you have said. I receive your word and I receive life. Father, I receive the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Encourage yourself. Let positive confession come out from your mouth about your situation. Do not look at what you see. Look at what you know God can do. Look at the experience God is passing you through. That God is passing you through this experience to bring you to a better place. Amen. And every experience you pass through in life will build your character to make you a better person. That you will begin to encourage people that will pass through the same experience. And that's why Jesus Christ is our
perfect advocate. He's our Lord and Savior. He came in the flesh. He dwelt amongst us. He passed through every kind of problems with men who ever passed through in this world. He passed through sorrow. He was accused that he used the power of the devil, of Bezalel, to cast out demons. He was called names. He passed through temptation. He taught us what to do when we pass through those things. Amen. We can call, go to him when we are in trouble. We can call up to God in his name. And God will answer us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Be encouraged, child of God. Be encouraged that God has set a solid foundation underneath your faith. That when you stand on that foundation, holding on, on to the truth that God has given to you, that you will never fail. The enemy will come, but the enemy will fail. Stand on the word of God. Do not allow the, the, the testimony of men to make you to change your own character. To begin to behave like them. Because that's what they want to see. Hold on to the truth. Be focused as Jesus Christ was. Look up to the cross. You know what you want out of life. Enjoy the life that God has given to you. Let those who gossip, let them gossip. They have nothing better to do. No man can make you live their own lives. You are living your life. Do the things you enjoy to do. The things you love to do. Let people say, as long as what you are doing, you are not intruding on someone else's space. Let them talk. Let them say whatever they want to say. It's of no effect to you. Dust it off. Do not listen. Enjoy your life. The life that God has given to you. The life that you have. Make sure that that life has a meaning. That it has value that can overflow from you to the people around you. Be focused, be strong. That's what God has given to us. We are not afraid of what men can do unto us. We are the children of the living God. We stand firmly on the word of God, and God is glorified in our situations. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. We give God a clap of praise this morning. Father, we bless you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Rejoice. Rejoice. Let your enemy be annoyed that you are rejoicing. Rejoice. That's where your strength is. The kingdom of God is not about talking and talking. It's about power. The kingdom of God is about rejoicing. Amen. It's about righteousness. Amen. It's about the peace of God. Amen. That love of God that God has given to us. That we spread out to them. Let it be rejoicing in you. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Is my strength also. I want to live in the strength of God. By rejoicing every day. So I can do the thing that God wants me to do. Not to be overburdened by the cares of this world. The cares and worries of this world they are there. But I cannot carry it on my head all the time. When I cannot even solve the problem. Give it to God. Give it to God. Give it to Jesus. He carries the load of the world on his shoulder. On that cross. He carried everything. He bore our sicknesses, our diseases, diseases. Anything we might ever pass through in this world. He has lifted it up from us. Receive it, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah, amen. Praise the Lord, hallelujah, amen. I just want us to make reference to one passage in the Bible before we finish our session this morning. Glory, hallelujah, amen. And that passage is from the temptation of Jesus Christ. Amen. Actually, it's chapter 3 of Matthew chapter 3. It's not the temptation. It's John the Baptist prepares the way. I want us to know that as God has revealed his son to us, as we, have, we just celebrated Christmas, it's Christmas every day for us Christians. Amen. Now that we have known the Son, that God has given us a Savior in, his, in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Those of us that have not accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we need to consider where we want to spend eternal life. It's when we are alive that we can make this very important decision. As John the Baptist went out to prepare the way for our Lord, the coming of our Lord, he called out to the men and said, Repent of your sin. Prepare the way for the coming of our Lord. That's the same message today. The Lord has revealed to the world. Amen. Let us make up our minds. Where do we want to spend eternal life? Let us repent of our sins, come to God, and accept the salvation of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Our God is merciful. 
it teaches sinners in the way on which they should go. Amen. It will bring out a refined person out of our character, as it did in the life of the Apostle Paul. God is going to do it in our lives. Amen. The prophets, the ordinary people like us, but they surrender their sex to God to use. They surrender their lives to God to use, and God used them. Amen. The same way when we come to God, we give ourselves to Him to use. You use of space purpose. But we have to repent of our sins of our sins. We have to accept the truth that truly that we are sinners and that we have fallen short of the glory of God for us to receive the salvation of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's when we start with God the Father. So I want to read a little about John the Baptist, what he told the people. Let us reflect on it today. And any of us outside there that has not repented of our sins, today should be a day for us to think about we are going to spend eternal life. This is the day of the Lord's salvation. Call on him and you will, you will find him. This is the day of God's favor. Call on God and you receive favor, favor from me. Repent and let God help you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. John the Baptist prepares the way. Matthew chapter 3. In those days, John the Baptist came, preaching in the desert of Judea and saying, Repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. This is he who was spoken of through the prophet Isaiah. A voice of one calling in the desert, prepare the way for the Lord, make, his, make straight paths for him. John's clothes were made of camel's hair, and he had a leather belt around his waist. His food was locust and wild honey. People went out to him from Jerusalem and all Judea and the whole region of the Jordan. Confessing their sins, they were baptized by him in the Jordan River. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to where he was baptizing, he said to them, you broad of vipers, who warned you to flee from the coming route? Produce fruit in keeping with repentance. Produce fruit in keeping with repentance. And do not think you can say to yourselves, we have Abraham as our father. I tell you that out of these stones, God can raise up children for Abraham. The axe is already at the root of the trees, and every tree that does not produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. Verse 11. I baptize you with water for repentance. But after me will come one who is more powerful than I, whose sandals I am not fit to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We are hearing this message again today. Calling the message of repentance. Calling out to the nations that, are, that God has given us a Messiah. That we need to repent of our sins to receive the salvation of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We need to humble ourselves. Amen. To act before God to ask Him to have mercy on us. If any of us says that we have not sinned, we are, we are liars and there is no truth in us. For we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Before we can enjoy true fellowship with God, we have to repent of our sins. Amen. This message is going out today again, calling people to repent. Sinners come, do not run from God, come to God. We are all sinners, or we are all sinners before we met with God. We repented of our sins, and God showed us mercy. God, the same God will show you mercy. You serve the same God. He uses the same standards of holiness, of righteousness. He says standards of judgment. Each man will receive a consequence for whatever they do in this world, whether it is good or if. Amen. While we are alive, that's when we can make this very important decision. Where do you want to live? Where you die. Amen. Do you want to live with God? 
Do you want to be heirs of God and co-heirs of, of, with Jesus Christ of God's kingdom to receive everything that God has through Jesus Christ? Or do you want to be condemned with the devil forever to be shamed and thrown into the bottomless pit where there will be fire, blazing fire forever? It will never end. This is forever and ever. Let's make up our minds. God is not asking too much of us. He's not telling us to abide by the law, by the law, because He knows that we cannot. Truth and grace has come to us through Jesus, through Jesus Christ. Let us bow down our heads and ask God to help us. Amen. Salvation is there. It is a free gift of God for all men. No one can boast that they made himself righteous through their own effort. It is through grace that we are saved. Amen. Not by our own effort. But God himself made us his children. Because of the love of God towards us all. Let us receive that which God has given to us to have everlasting life. Amen. Abundant life in this world that we are the children of God. Call the children of the Most High God. The ones that the Spirit of God dwells inside of. The ones that can show God to the world. That can go out to begin to testify about the goodness of God to the world around us. The ones that God is relying on to carry this gospel, to take this word to the nations, as the apostles did. Amen. We have a cloud of witnesses that have gone ahead of us. They are observing the things we are doing. And if we can listen attentively to what the Spirit is saying today, they are telling us that this is the truth, that this is eternal life. That you can trust God. Continue to do the good things you are doing. Go out to represent God. Go out to show the world the love of God. The peace of God that you have in you. Spread it out to the people around you. They don't see the goodness of God in you. Because God has made you his light in this world. When Jesus Christ came, his life was the light of men. He brought light into this world. And he left that light in us. We are representing him here. He went, ascended into, ascended into heaven and God sent the Holy Spirit to indwell us. We have the Spirit of God and we are able to do all things. For us to receive that power of God, as I said earlier on, we have to repent of our sins. Amen. Humble our sins before God. Look at the example of Jesus Christ and just say, Father, we believe every word you have spoken about yourself. We believe every word you have spoken about your Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That there's no other way through which anyone will become righteous with you except through Jesus Christ. Today we repent of our sins. We ask you help us. Touch our hearts. Remove from us the hearts of stubbornness. This of stone. Anything that will stand against your way in our lives. Forge it out and help us in the name of Jesus. Our God is faithful. He will help us. Hallelujah. Amen. Perhaps, perhaps there are people outside there today that are thinking that what can I do? To receive salvation. I don't know where to go to. You can start. Wherever you are. Open yourself before God. Bow down your head. And say this little prayer. Father in heaven. I thank you. I believe that you are my God. I believe in your testimony concerning yourself. And your testimony concerning my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That there is no other way through which men may come to you except through Jesus Christ. That it is your way. There are many that will see Jesus Christ and believe in him. That they will receive everlasting life through him. Father, I believe also that I am a sinner. That I have fallen short of your glory in so many ways. Father, have mercy on me in the name of Jesus. I want to know you. I want to be your child. I want to walk with you. I surrender myself to you this day. I pray that your Holy Spirit will enjoy me. And help me to live that life you have called me unto in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, for making me your child. I bless you, my living God, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If you have said that prayer and you believe in you, that yes, you are the child of God, no one can take it from you. Your spirit, we agree with the spirit of God that you are the child of God, that you are a child of God. Look for a faith believing church around you. Amen. And go in there. And begin to pray every day to God. Begin to study your Bible. Study. Study the word of God. Equip yourself with the word. What you need. The wisdom you need. Because the time will come. 
where you have to go out to testify about God to the nations. Amen. Each one of us, we have to do that. Glory, hallelujah, amen. We thank God for coming to the end, bringing us to the end of this message this morning. Our God is good. He has done great things for us. That's why we are rejoicing. Everything we have comes from Him. He is God. Glory, hallelujah, amen. We are going to pray. Father, we thank you for bringing us to the end of our Bible study session this morning. You are our God. We lift you on high for your faithfulness to us, for being our living God. Thank you, God, for our salvation and everything you have given to us in Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father Lord, for forgiving us of all our sins. We hold on to the truth you have entrusted to us. We pray, Father Lord, that we, whenever we have the opportunity to testify about you, that we will tell the world what you have done for us. That salvation can be found in no other but in Jesus Christ. Thank you, our living God, for your faithfulness to us. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good all the time. Continue to testify. Faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. Be blessed this day. God loves you. Amen. We love you too. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Amen.